so we are into so we are into this uh, project schematic now i will be taking a results over here okay i'll be op opening a standalone results window and uh, i'll just open this result by double clicking it and wait for the cfd post to open the process is very simple it is not a big uh, thing over here okay now this is opened you can just go to the file first and foremost thing is you can load the results and uh, we need to browse this as to where this is located so i'll just quickly do that by pausing the video so this is the location of uh, my analysis files i have just uh, selected in f drive because i am saving this particular data in f drive okay the complete simulation files this is the analysis folder and we just have to go to one files i'm just showing you this because you might be confused whether uh, way to search okay so in one files you have to go to dp slash zero and that fff represents this particular window okay so if you are having one more fluent window opened over here that will be fff1 okay that is how the software is uh, saving the files in the background now we can go to fluent i'm sorry not fluent we can go to mech and we will be having soil erosion i just saved it as soil but that is not soil actually we can just name it as erosion okay so erosion dot c that we have i'll just click on open and okay now you can see the domain is imported over here you can have the inlet the inlet y the outlet as well and the wall as well here now if you want you can just go to wall and you can render it 0.75 select this okay, so it is a kind of translucent uh, shape and uh, what are we doing actually yeah soil erosion i'm sorry so we are uh, going to contour contour number one or erosion i'm sorry i'm just referring soil i don't know why and uh, we need to select the wall and uh, variable is erosion because we haven't imported any other uh, variables okay like velocity pressure temperature etc so the erosion is the only thing what we have and i'll just type uh, 100 and click apply and wait for the computation to happen okay so you can see that in this region of the wall the uh, erosion is happening so this is a kind of coarse simulation what we have done okay i'll just turn off the wall so here you can see the maximum erosion uh, happening over here right so with the help of dpm we can predict you know it gives us an access to understand how the particles of water are behaving with the walls as well okay now when uh, they are importing or injecting water droplets in propane gas there is a purpose for that i mean they just want to dissolve the salts in the gas okay so they do not want to damage their walls and uh, based on this simulation one may predict you know one may understand this thing that how the uh, wall can be impacted with the velocity what we have selected of the particle droplets okay so what we can do is we can uh, modify the velocity we can reduce it and see that the uh, well the particles do not come and hit the wall it can directly turn off and just exhaust from the outlet so that prior and error simulations can be performed so that is what is research right we are just finding a still problem we are trying to solve it clear so this is how dpm may be useful and you can see it is a kind of very uh, huge impact over here and it is a bit little bit erosion is happening in this region of the wall as well right so this is how we can simulate the erosion and uh, now i'll just uh, turn off the contour and turn on the wall now let us just import the particle tracks okay for that we just have to go to file and import import fluent particle track file just click on that browse it now again i'll just pause the video and go we are into this analysis again files and uh, dp ff fluent default if you remember default was the name of the file so i'll just click on open and ok over here and you can see that it is loading and you have this particle file and also you can see the uh, tracks over here right so these are the particles which are trapping at the end of the wall 
I'll do one thing. I'll increase the rendering to 0.95. I'll select this. So these are the particles which are impacting the wall over here. I believe we can change the color of this particles to color variable and by the time over here. In your particle time, click apply. Yeah. So you can see this is in seconds, uh, like from uh, 0 to point six point uh, point six eight second, it is exiting off, right? Because yeah, the velocity is pretty high. I mean, the velocity is almost two meters per second, I believe, or one meters per second. So it depends on the boundary conditions as well. So if you want to optimize and reduce the erosion, then I believe we must reduce the velocity of the oncoming particle. Since this was a conceptual study, even I didn't know what can be the impact of the velocity on the fall. So I just choose the random value. Clear? So this is how you can predict. I believe you can turn on the symbols as well by clicking on show symbol and uh, set the interval to if you are selecting one interval it is not possible because from here to here it is 0 0.68 right in 0 0.68 second the particle is reaching off over here. So I'll keep an interval of 0 0.1 yeah so this is how you can predict so at 0 0.1 second it is here 0 0.2 the particles are here 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 they are exiting from the outlet and uh, not only this i believe we can uh, perform an animation so these are just you know kind of uh, flaunting things we can say rather than understanding what's happening uh, so these are the way the particles are injected into the uh, pipe they're getting trapped few of them are getting trapped over here and few of them are exiting right so you can see few of the particles are finishing their uh, journey in this region that means they are uh, contributing to the impact of erosion on the walls this is what is happening my recording yeah this is what is happening if you want you can just save this animation as well and you can just uh, keep it with yourself all right so this concludes the complete session of DPM. If possible, I'll be utilizing DPM again, maybe in this uh, course or in the future course, because uh, you know we can uh, uh, try to utilize that for other applications as well, right? So this is how discrete particle phase, uh, discrete phase modeling works, and these are the different uh, uh, options and different uh, uh, what do you call? applications of dpm model we can uh, you know in apply with the different diameters we can have a uniform diameter we can have the different uh, density of the particle it can be a water or it can be anything and uh, we can uh, apply the turbulent effects we can investigate the erosion we can see the particle tracks let me just also add up the uh, plane uh, i don't think i've imported the propane gas things over here and cannot do a kind of contour in the background so if you have uh, exported the contour or uh, exported the propane gas details then you'll you will be having the possibility to create a contour over here and the injected particles so that will look more better in visualization perspective right so on this note i can just conclude the video over here and let us move on to the next topic